Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy to be praised. You know, I was, while I sat, Jake's was stirring our hearts towards evangelism. Hallelujah. I'd like you to know that we are we are on a massive evangelism this week. Hallelujah. Massive evangelism. The world world there is the systems everywhere. Hallelujah. And we are going to invade it with the life and the power of Christ. You're not just going to tell people, brother, you're going to hell or sister, you're going to hell. No, no, you are an ambassador. You are representing your government and you are going to demonstrate the character the life the power of the kingdom he said as you go heal the sick cast out devils as you go i am sending you he said all authority exousia in heaven and on earth belongs to me he said therefore go don't just go alone go with that authority because you will need to do some of these things as you go god expects them to doubt your message so he says prove to them that my kingdom is superior by healing the sick cast out devils cleanse the lepers when you see someone and tell him about his life prophetic evangelism when you raise a sick person power evangelism there are different dimensions and he's sending us to go hallelujah the hundred level students are coming and corporately as a house is our time of in gathering hallelujah we're going to be praying just before we start tonight we'll hold our hands together and pray in the spirit and say lord let there be a wind the power of the Holy Spirit go ahead and just play Lord we thank you we receive souls go ahead and pray in the spirit every everywhere 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 in the name of jesus we're invading it with the life the power the grace there is a translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son drunkards are becoming apostles prostitutes are becoming generals in the kingdom lord we thank you young and old rich and poor students and non-students they are experiencing the power of god go ahead and pray in the spirit we are well able we are going in the authority of the king as we go we cleanse the lepers we heal the sick we cast out devils we raise the dead Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, I tap into that dimension of wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask and now give the nations to you. Oh Lord. That's the cry of our and shores and the earth as the now gives and nations to you that's the cry of my heart is the shores and the islands to see Hallelujah. 
something until you are prepared for soul winning you will never experience certain dimensions of God's power hallelujah he said this sign shall follow as you go I remember in 2006 that was the first time we we're going to have a corporate crusade hallelujah we had a crusade in plateau state didn't have an idea of what we we're going to face and when we got there I remember them telling us I think they met at Jimmy and said you people came to preach here the place the venue they use for their traditional festival that's where we said we wanted the crusade they said we would not get it but we finally got it hallelujah and then when it was time to pray we were not much two two 18 seater buses that was here and I then hallelujah and when we got there we began to preach we began to preach then it was time for miracles we had nothing except a word from God you better hear God when you stand before those villagers hallelujah they are not just young people that you can just deceive hallelujah and then I called everyone I said the whole team all of you just pick one person and you better pray for a case that will need medical confirmation hallelujah I'll never forget it Jimmy let me tease him he went to an elderly woman who had was it a swelling or something on her hand and with every ounce of of fear and faith mixed together he prayed for this woman and when she got healed you know elderly people they don't tell lies they tell you I'm, I'm not healed though and then when she got healed and he confirmed he was so happy and he was so excited hallelujah we saw all kinds of miracles for some of us it was our first time of experiencing certain fearful levels of miracles hallelujah the blind see the deaf hear manifestations of the spirit hallelujah and these things will follow you they are signs hallelujah a sign points somewhere it's not an end in itself are you following me now so the anointing of the holy spirit empowers you for the ministry of signs and wonders to the end that the people will know that jesus is lord hallelujah so don't be afraid go and meet them and they say i have a challenge tell them in the name of the lord jesus i will pray for you and say lord if you embarrass me in this place i was minding my business all by myself no you have to take a step of faith i've always said it if you will ever pray for a dead body the first thing is to stand close to one hallelujah never forget my experience they called me to go and raise a dead man three days in the anatomy um you know the mortuary or what do they call it hallelujah and when I stepped in, I saw several kinds, several dead people. I said, which one? He says, it's a who raised the dead when you see a real dead person. Hallelujah. Three days. And um, I laid my hands and I prayed. I did everything I knew to do. When I prayed three times, three is enough in the spirit. When it doesn't work after three times, be sure it may not work. Hallelujah and I prayed for the person I prayed for the person I prayed for the person I told the people get me out of this place you didn't pay me I didn't kill the person hallelujah but then times will come when your shadows will raise the dead that's why God is preparing us how many of you believe that oh yes we are coming to that time when an accident will happen and you, you perform more miracles unconsciously than you will do consciously hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ Yahweh
as I'm winning by the Spirit. Go ahead and possess time. I'm shouting because I'm winning. We are not ordinary people. Yes, Lord, the shout of the King, the shout of the King, the shout of the King is in our midst. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout of glory. It's a shout of victory. Go ahead and pray. Bakaya, a shout that means I'm coming out of every challenge. It's a shout at the shout of grace, at the shout of grace. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? It's a shout of victory. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I dwell in the house of the Lord. There's a reason why we shout in the spirit. There's a reason why we rejoice. We stir up the waters of the spirit. Because the Bible says whoever at the stirring of that water, whoever steps in will be healed. Oh, there's a stirring. We are not shouting for nothing. We are shouting because we know the one who can feed 5,000 men with five loaves and two fish. The one who transforms our lives, causing us to know more of him. There is no one Be blessing and honor And glory and power forever Be your blessing and honor And glory and power forever Hear me, I don't know about you but I know God is not wasting his time building me. I know that there is something. There is the ability of the spirit at work in me. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, far above all that we think. He said, according to the power from the Greek word energes, the energy, the energizing of the spirit that worketh in us. We are not ordinary people. God is training us, building us by his word. Let me tell you something I don't know about you, but I am convinced that resident in me is an ability. The power of the spirit of God. To cause change, to build, to bless, to change, to transform my world. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedient obedience of Christ. He's transforming everything. Transforming everything. He's renewing everything in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ. The sorry sea who comes in the name of our God. The sorry sea who comes. 
of men to open and the ears of many for you step into a season that you will not say at the spirit of the Lord I am causing the hand of the great to walk upon great parts the Lord says I'm causing the hand of the great to walk upon for it shall be a season like none other say at the spirit of the Lord it shall be a season like none other, say the Spirit of God. It shall be a new season. I open up new portals. I cause you to walk in great paths. I cause crooked paths to become straight. Say at the Spirit of God. Because you're learning of my ways. Because you're learning of my ways. Because you're learning of my ways. I cause the coal of fire to come upon your tongue. That you speak the mysteries of the kingdom. I cause the coal of fire to come upon your tongue. That you communicate the counsel of the Father. For I will teach you wisdom, say at the Spirit of the Lord. For I will teach you wisdom, and I will cause you to walk in my way, say at the Spirit. For I will teach you wisdom, I will teach you wisdom, I will teach you wisdom. Have I not said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death? I will teach you wisdom, and I will cause you to walk in my precept, my precept. I will teach you wisdom, the path of wisdom, the path of glory. I step in teaching you wisdom, causing your ears to hear and to behold, stepping into new dimensions. For I teach you wisdom. Say at the Spirit of the Lord. Harvest first as a seed and then it spreads, says the Spirit of the Lord. Springs from for I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. 
the seeing eyes and the hearing ears I give unto men. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears I give unto men. It is by my spirit. And for this season, the seeing eyes and the hearing men, ears I give unto men. When you learn of my ways and I teach you my precepts, I will glorify you. Say at the Spirit of God. When you foreordained, predestinated, glorify. Bible says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Lika proske barian taktu zimahadiana kabash Randa gabarato zovagati ala mosiada For it comes speedily It comes speedily, say the Spirit of the Lord The manifestation of the things that I've spoken unto you In this season I cause an acceleration It comes speedily by the Spirit Those things that I've spoken unto you The communications of the night times, they are the Spirit of God it comes speedily. The communications of the night time. Say at the Spirit of the Lord, I cause it to come speedily. The communications of the night time. Say at the Spirit of the Lord, I cause it to manifest speedily. By grace. By grace. That's what I hear in the Spirit. By grace. By grace. By grace. By grace. When you learn of the ways of the spirit you are built and equipped trained and empowered and you will begin to function as though you are a god in the earth psalms 82 verse 1 he said god stands in the congregations of the mighty and he speaks to them then he says know ye not that ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said they know not neither do they understand they walk in darkness. He said the earth is out of course. Koinonia is a place where we learn the ways of the spirit. For Job said there is a path where the eyes of the vulture has not seen. There is a place where the feet of the lion has not trodden upon. And when God brings us into these realities in the spirit, causing us to comprehend the things of the spirit, the knowledge that you have in the spirit, is the authority that you will command in this way that's what the holy ghost is communicating unto me i have said ye are gods i have said ye are gods rise up mighty men i have said ye are gods say at the spirit of the lord have i not said ye are gods rule rule take charge subdue take territories say at the spirit of the lord i have said ye are gods i have said ye are gods gods to the system gods to the system i'm still hallelujah hallelujah listen to me one of the greatest tragedies in the church is that we do not understand the ways of the spirit hallelujah we have many ways we have many methods to do different things hallelujah but there is a way the bible speaking jesus speaking to nicodemus he said the wind bloweth where it listed you cannot tell where he's going and where he's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit he said for as many who will allow themselves to be under the governing influence of the spirit he says such are the sons of god the greek word here is weos those who by reason of knowledge have attained the same status with their father the ways of the spirit the bible is not just a religious information 
teaching us to know about the stories and the history and walk in it there you will find rest the rest is when you find the ancient path there are parts brothers and sisters part ways in the spirit that lead men to greatness that lead men to power that lead men to insight to wisdom the communication of the spirit but until we search and then we are diligent enough to allow the holy spirit to bring us revelation Paul said for this course Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus that he will grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that you will comprehend spiritual mysteries when the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light you will see where men do not see you will walk where men will not walk for he will give you light that will rule in the day and light that will rule in the night he said he made many lights but then he made two great lights and one to rule in the day one the other to rule in the night Lord, we ask for the paths of the Spirit. We don't just want to do religion. We ask for the paths of the Spirit. Show us the ways that will cause us to walk in greatness. Show us the ways that will cause us to walk in kingdom power and authority. Legislating the council of the kingdom in the earth as it is in the heavens. Representing him as true ambassadors of the government of our Father. That's why I say unto you, an heir, as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, Galatians chapter 4, though he be lord of all, although by inheritance, his inheritance is royalty and greatness. He said, for as long as he's a child, he differeth not from a slave, but is under tutors and governors. Grant unto us knowledge, O God. Grant unto us knowledge that we will stop walking as men men and begin to live as supernatural people hallelujah praise the lord god is furnishing us one of the goals of koinonia is that we understand the ways of the spirit there is a way that brings the anointing there is a way that brings wealth and glory there is a way that brings prosperity there is a way that brings increase there is a way that brings power for until you understand the ways of the spirit when you understand the ways of the spirit you can align yourself and then it will be done only legislating the earth that which has been completed in the heavens we do not try to initiate things that have not been established this is the secret of victory in this realm that it be done his represent access i will give you access to the ways of the spirit and by reason of that access everything you bind in the earth would have been what has been bound in the spirit the ability to stand in a position and legislate things across terror. as we stand in this atmosphere we are not only receiving impartations of the spirit but our minds have been aligned and adjusted to his ways romans chapter 12 verse 1 says i beseech three brethren by the mercies of god that he offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god he said that is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 says and do not be conformed do not pattern your mind after this world comes from the greek word aeon this age he said but be ye transformed how by the renewing there has been a disalignment between heaven and the earth and so the holy spirit brings us to a point of alignment so that it will be established in the earth the realities that are in the heavens his ultimate agenda according to colossians chapter 1 and ephesians chapter 1 the universal counsel of god is that all things be headed up in christ and that the multifaceted dimension will be revealed in and through the church this is why he's empowering us so lord we thank you for your ways thank you for your word we are not interested in just bible stories and theological dissertations we are interested in knowing the ways of the spirit for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom he said doth not wisdom cry 
she walks in the streets and cries said get wisdom get wisdom exalt her and she shall promote thee he said she shall bring an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her in all thy getting get understanding and he says the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding unto the simple lord we ask for the ancient part according to jeremiah 33 verse 3 says call unto me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things we pray that you cause our eyes to see great and mighty things hallelujah i like us to pray tonight but let's consider a scripture just sit down briefly god bless you The presence of God is very strong and mighty in this place. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 2. Someone with ulcer, I rebuke it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you came here with ulcer. Listen to me, is gone now we are not negotiating i stand as touching the authority of the king of this kingdom and in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that you are perfect first corinthians chapter two bless us tonight lord verse four and my speech and my preaching were not with enticing words of men's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God verse 6 however hmm, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect the word perfect there is mature yet not the wisdom of this age nor of the princes of this age that come to nothing 7 but we speak wisdom the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the ages unto our glory which none of the princes of this age knew for had they known it they would not have crucified the lord of glory but as it is written i had not seen hallelujah look up verse 9 tells us that there are things that god has prepared is that correct it tells us that i has not seen ear has not heard it has not come into the comprehension of any man what god has prepared that means god has prepared something hallelujah but for some reason the ear has refused to hear and to understand the ways to access those things the eye has refused to see the heart has refused to understand but he said there are things that are prepared there are treasures there are things in the spirit that have been prepared but the bible says something interesting let's read on verse 10 it says but god has revealed them not to everybody there are a class of people that although eyes they, there are things that god has prepared and the ordinary people cannot see the bible makes us to understand that when david came from war with three of his servants they went to the priest and they were asking for bread and the priest told them something he said there is no ordinary bread however but there is a hallowed bread the deep things of the spirit the bible says that these things have been in store however eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not been revealed unto any man hallelujah he said but god has chosen he by let's read on help us tonight lord but god has revealed them unto us how by his spirit so the the spirit of god is the revealer of the secrets of god there are secrets hallelujah the holy ghost is the revealer of the secrets of god in the archives of the spirit there are things there are revelations there are patterns there are strategies for the victory of a believer but the bible makes us understand that eyes have not seen ears have not heard he said they have not even come to the comprehension of man's heart however there is a class of people that have dared to pray 
darkness and compel God to reveal to them these impossible things by the Spirit. And then he says something and this is the basis of my message tonight. He says, for the Spirit searches. The Spirit has the ability to go to the treasury of God and find out where are those things that have been locked up in the scroll that will not be opened by ordinary people that contain revelations and dimensions of authority and power and grace and insight. The Bible says there is something that a believer does that causes the Holy Spirit to start searching. And the Bible says when he searches, he will find what the mind of God is. And he has the ability to bring it back and communicate it to the believer. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm teaching us how to access the deep things of the spirit. And the man stood in front of me and measured a thousand cubits. And it was to my feet. And he measured a thousand cubits again. And then it was to the knees. And he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to his chest. He said, and he measured a thousand cubits again. And it was an overflowing river. And he said, wherever that river went to, every fish that was dead would come alive. He said, the river flowed from the east side of the temple. There are many spiritual mysteries that God's people are ignorant of. And lack of pressing into these dimensions of knowledge has been the reason why we do not command the kind of authority that will give us access to be true ambassadors. Why will someone come and do something and then another person cannot do it and we serve the same God? We believe the same God hallelujah that the access the insights the knowledge and the understanding you have is your strength the strength of a believer is not his physical muscle the strength of a believer is the quality of truth the pathways of the spirit that you have been able to understand the ways of god for when you know the ways of god you will walk like a god in years has nothing to do with age hear me has nothing to do with gender has nothing to do with your denominational background has everything to do with your desire to press into more of him i began to seek the presence of god to seek the manifestation of his spirit and his power in my life 2005 hallelujah we were roommates and we will worship i will just stay on the keyboard and worship and he will play the guitar and the presence of god will come and fill the room consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills this room that was our experience and we began to press and then the Lord began to show me his ways I said Lord I'm tired of religion I'm tired of church I'm tired of deceiving myself with many scriptures in my head but there's nothing in how many of you are tired and really want to be making structural growth in the spirit hallelujah there are many believers that have so many scriptures in their head we have I I And so my concept of spiritual growth is not how much you finish your bible my concept of spiritual growth is how much you understand the ways of god you understand his principles and his precepts how much you have come into alignment with the things of the spirit that you can reveal his glory you can be a portal that opens up men to the realities of the spirit Paul prayed a prayer in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Let's look at it quickly and then we'll come back to Colossians and we'll come back to 1 Corinthians. The glory of the risen Lord
verse 15 Ephesians 1 wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and love all to all saints 16 cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of glory may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 oh this is our press tonight the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light enlightened it will cause you to know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power so Paul is saying these things have been established in the spirit but he's praying and saying Lord that you open their eyes that they will access the spirit of wisdom and revelation and tonight I want to share a simple secret with us and then we will pray for when you know how to access the secrets of the spirit friends you will reign in this life hear me you will not reign because you bear a Christian name he said rule thou in the midst of your enemies the great man Bishop Oyedeko he said how that things were not working in his life at a point and he decided to go on a word fast he took the word of God and he went to encounter the spirit of wisdom and revelation he climbed upon the mountain for three days traveling and digging in the spirit and there he found certain treasures hear me every man you see trailing the place somewhere has caught certain treasures in the spirit for the proof that you have caught it is that there will be a ripple effect in this earth realm and certain men out of their desperation for God have stumbled across certain treasures in the spirit in their sincere quest for God they stumbled across certain things that set them above are you listening to me I studied the Bible for a major part of 2005 and I found out that the wisdom of God the spirit of wisdom and revelation was necessary to reign and to rule in this life and I began to pray I said Lord you've got to give me this wisdom and revelation do something in me then the Lord led me to this verse and he said son I will teach you how to tap into this these are the exact words of God the deep things of the spirit oh for you don't find gold on the surface how many of you agree with me you don't find gold on the surface you do business in the deep for if you can access the deep things of the spirit you will come up with treasures but the Bible says there were two significant lights and at their appearance they had the capacity to overshadow every other light many of us have pockets of lights here and there and here and there we are hitting and you know trial and error spiritual victory however when you touch the greater light listen when you touch the greater light you will command victory victory hallelujah God showed me a light in his word concerning deliverance and casting out of devils when I caught that revelation that was the end of it I said I don't care what level I'm sorry to say not to insult anybody but I see people stand and sweat and pray and roll over demons and do all kinds of things and say how many are left and demon says 18 four hours he's crying the Lord showed me a light he showed me a light in his word you see when you stand to function i like you to know that in the realm of the spirit the lord opened my eyes in a vision some time ago and i saw i saw the spirits of men emitting lights i follow me now emitting lights and i wondered i said lord what is the meaning of this and he told me the degree of their illumination is equivalent to their understanding of spiritual things 
and i saw some people emitting more light their spirits were emitting more light in chemistry we do it you want to find out certain informations about some compounds what happens you expose them to light light reveals in the realm of the spirit from the light you emit i can know your spiritual level are you following me now so when jesus was transfigured he showed us how his spirit man looked pure light the bible says he dwells in unapproachable light and every time we press to be like him we become that light hmm. and as we are changed into that light we begin to command the authority that that light brings that's the reason why someone can speak to a demon and say leave and the demon just looks and beats up the person and then another person passes unconsciously and the demon is crying let me tell you the difference is not their height the difference is the light that is illuminated in the spirit hallelujah and light means knowledge and so paul prays that our eyes be flooded with what light light that we come into the understanding of god's principles such that if i meet you today and your finances are in a wreck i should be able to stay with you and after two weeks i should be able to transmit a light are you following me now that will set you ablaze are you following me now when i step into a family and i find out that there is chaos what happens by spiritual understanding you know what principle and what pathway to take are you getting are you following me this is how to bless people you don't bless people by sympathizing with them you bless people by understanding the ways of god and introducing the patterns of the spirit to their lives jacob understood the ways of god that would bring increase and when he saw the animals of laban he applied a dangerous spiritual principle i'm still trying to find it out till now i've read that scripture again and again i said lord there is a key to prosperity that you must show me what did jacob see that made him carry a black stick dropped it close to water and made animals to begin to reproduce after what they were seeing hmm. light in the spirit The increase and the expansion that we're experiencing by the grace of God in this ministry came as a result of light. One day, I was studying. And I was studying a book by a man of God called Dyke Hayward Mills. And I found something interesting in scripture. A simple Greek word called anakazo. The compelling power of the spirit. An ability of the spirit that compels a man into the will of God jesus gave a parable he said the feast was ready but there were not enough people and he sent the servants to go and bring people and one said he just got married he has to be with his wife another person said he bought a property he has to see it hallelujah and then he said go and bring in all the lepers and the rest and he used the word jesus sent them in the parable he said go and compel them to come he used the word anakazo and the spirit of god brought that light friends the light you have and the understanding of god's ways is what will cause you to rule how many of you believe what i'm sharing is it making sense to you or am i just making noise so that your pursuit for spiritual growth will not just be haphazard there are many of us who our spiritual growths are not constructive yes you are doing devotion but what about the ways of god do you know today that you did not know last week that's a proof that you are growing hallelujah we stumbled across the spiritual principle of god that brings wealth and prosperity and he opened the eyes of our understanding to it by the spirit and even we cannot stop what the spirit of god is doing the miraculous we didn't always experience the miraculous but as we kept pressing into god we kept pressing into god i got angry 
and i told god i said lord i'm tired of headaches just being healed How about creative miracles can those things happen and then i had a dream in the dream i was teaching and when i was teaching i was telling them that there were body parts in heaven and all of these things and and then a voice just sounded to me and said josh you are not working in any significant healing compared to the dimensions you should be working in and i was sad i was really sad and then the voice spoke in the dream he said you must find a scripture where i showed something about creative miracles and then it will be released in your life and then the lord told me don't use google don't use anything and the holy spirit gave me expo he said it's in the book of psalms read psalms you will stumble across something that david saw are you following me please are you getting blessed the bible says jacob went to a place did you know that where jacob laid down his father had anointed that place and made a covenant there little did he know and so he stumbled to the place of the covenant and he laid down suddenly a portal was opened and jacob saw he said that he was in a dream and he saw angels ascending what is it about this place that made angels to be ascending and descending and at the top of it was yahweh himself and he gave him a revelation that he only would have gotten in the year king uzziah died i isaiah something happened ezekiel chapter one the bible says ezekiel sat by the water brook and suddenly he was caught up in the spirit there are dimensions that will give us access to rule and to reign let's go quickly to share that one first corinthians help us lord help us lord so we have established from first corinthians look up please we have established from first corinthians that there are treasures that have been kept in store for us do we all agree do we all agree please help me hallelujah that there are treasures that have been kept for us the bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not been revealed to the heart of man what god has kept but the bible says there are a class of people that understood certain spiritual dimensions isn't it amazing that david saw things pertaining the new creation although he was living in the old testament how did david see and see the coronation of god the lord said to my lord sit thou at my right how did he see it how did david know that the holy spirit can stay in a man he said cast me not away from your presence and take not your holy spirit how did david know that the throne of god had gates and courts he said enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise part of the victories that we command by the spirit came as a result of uncommon insight that were given by the spirit and i want to share with us that way and then we pray there is a there is an activity of the holy ghost that we need to understand he is not just an advocate not just a teacher not just a strengthener comes from the word paracletos but he is the revealer of the secrets of god i need to introduce this dimension of the holy spirit to us as the revealer of the secrets the bible says but god has revealed them to us how by his spirit how does the spirit reveal it by what searching the holy ghost has an ability to search the mind of christ and when he searches he finds the treasures of god that are responsible for our victory in this earth realm and then he begins to communicate these ways to us and then when we find these ways we will begin to walk therein the bible says verse 11 for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of that man he said even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit of god hallelujah but then he starts by saying something interesting he says when we are among them that are mature we speak a kind of wisdom he said it's not the hidden wisdom i mean it's not the regular wisdom the age that is governed by age and intellect and all of this hallelujah he said it's the hidden wisdom and he said when we begin to speak that hidden wisdom 
it will cause the spirit to begin to search follow me that every time this wisdom of the spirit is communicated there is a searching in the spirit the holy ghost begins to search and find certain things about the mind of christ and then brings them and reveals it to those who are communicating this wisdom are you following me now the wisdom of christ when you begin to communicate this wisdom in the spirit you are giving the holy ghost an opportunity to begin to search the minds of christ concerning your destiny that when you begin to pray and when you begin to communicate this wisdom the spirit of god goes to the archives of your destiny and begins to find out the blueprint of god for every season and then he communicates it to you and then in obedience you begin to walk in the path of the spirit this is the secret of victory there are many people who miss out on the plan the goals the seasons of god in their lives because they do not understand how to search by the wisdom of the spirit and so tonight i'm teaching us how to access the deep things of the spirit the bible makes us to understand that god left a prayer language with the believers listen hallelujah and the concept of tongues and praying in tongues as it relates to our edification has not been understood by many people how are we edified when we pray in tongues yes we understand that we are built up we are edified but how are we edified hallelujah one of the ways we are edified is that when we pray we access the deep things that are in the mind of the father look at me you do not know by yourself the prophetic blueprint of your life i hope you know that you do not know by yourself and hear me sometimes you search the scripture but you cannot find verbatim certain revelations that are customized to your own life i don't know if you understand what i'm saying here and there you may find stories and principles that you can apply but there are certain times you come in your life where you need a customized strategy by the spirit are you following me now at that time the holy ghost goes to the mind of the father and begins to search the file and the archives of your life how did god design that you will overcome in this area and then the holy ghost searches and he comes and begins to communicate these things to you hallelujah god gives you a, a ministry and you are praying and say lord we are trusting you for increase the moment you engage in this principle in the spirit suddenly the spirit begins to search he begins to search and he finds out and delivers to you the blueprint that god has designed for you somebody else will use that same blueprint and fail because he needs a strategy by the spirit are you following me david Yongicho was praying for increase the pastor of the largest church in asia was praying for increase and things were not working and as he began to search the mind of christ by the spirit god began to communicate certain things to him i'll never forget when we we're preparing for massacre crusade we had stretched ourselves uh it was three days to the crusade and we needed almost 0.8 million or something in three days we had to raise it the pfn people were calling in abuja and say send money and all of this hallelujah and because of this secret god had taught me i said lord there has to be a strategy how many of you know that every time you encounter a roadblock in your life is simply that you need a strategy until you get the strategy you will suffer and perish but when you get the strategy you will you will rise ah. and i don't care what the challenge is when the strategy comes light has come you will arise you will shine why because your light is come until the light comes you remain there and so i began to pray and as i began to pray in the spirit the holy ghost began to search and then he revealed to me a strategy and that was the strategy that we activated by the spirit and he helped us we had a successful crusade and even on the crusade ground a time came we needed some more funds 
and God gave us a strategy. Many people suffer and perish and, and languish in life although they are kings. They are tongue-talking people because they do not understand this dimension of the spirit as the revealer of the secrets. So many people try to push through their life hoping and wishing that what they are doing will bring the desired results. You want a job. You just sit down and guess and say the natural thing to do is to submit CVs. Why will we not go to the spirit who is the revealer of the secrets? Search the archives of the father. Give me some accuracy and precision in my life. Are you following me now? So that when you search the mind of the father, you will understand what is the counsel of God for you. And then the Lord tells you, just get up and go and greet brother John. Hold your CV on your hand. It doesn't make sense but that's the spiritual strategy that the lord has are you following me now i'm teaching you how to access the deep things of god and you get up and you move like a madman and while you're walking there is a divine connection and then brother john comes with his friend and he says we are just looking for someone strategy comes from the greek word stratomai the patterns of the spirit that leads to victory hallelujah I began to seek the face of the Lord over the pros our prosperity as a ministry and I said Lord what is the strategy and then as I began to pray in tongues a scripture came to me follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise that was the strategy straight up no waste of time no beating about the bush I started finding out uh, from successful ministries what were the principles hallelujah and I stumbled across a revelation that Bishop Oedeko shared. And he hit, he struck a chord in me. He said, this ministry, he said the Lord showed him something. That the ministry tithes as a ministry. And I told the treasurer, I said, never should there be any week that we will not tithe. And I activated that revelation by reason of the strategy. Are you following me now? strategies by the spirit one time i was in port Harcourt, i'll never forget didn't have much in my account i just sat down and then i said lord bless me and the lord told me give me an instruction he said go and empty your account i said lord how much is there that you want me to empty and god said just do it and do you know while i was preparing to go and empty my account when i emptied my account a few i think the next day or so 6 10 i will never forget 6 10 in the morning a stranger called me called me shaking profusely under the anointing he said is this joshua selman i said yes he said please send me your account number i said who are i told him who are you he said it's not necessary just send me your account number strategies in the spirit many people we suffer so much because we do not know the dimension of the holy spirit as the revealer of secrets the bible says that he searches the mind are you getting blessed tonight because i want us to pray there are many things we need direction for and precision for and the holy ghost is there to bring us into that reality sometimes when i want to preach i say lord what am i going to share and i just pray in tongues and as i look just praying and then suddenly light comes a scripture i've been looking at every time light comes from it and when that's why when you hear someone who knows how to access the deep things of god he will share a scripture you have been studying for years and bring a light that will let you know you you look as if you are not born again hallelujah light by the spirit this is a spiritual principle that we have all practiced strategies by the spirit strategies by the spirit strategies by the spirit everything you see us do we never do anything that we do not have a word for strategies by the spirit and let me tell you the instructions of god when they come to you is the wisdom of god they may not make sense hallelujah one day i was praying for a lady and the lord said i should tell her to lay both of her hands on my head that was a strategy for her miracle it didn't make sense however she got healed are you following me very important i'll never forget steve please come 
we're going to Pangshin for our crusade and the car spoiled on the way remember i mean the car spoiled we did everything we could do the crusade was to start by five at about three we're still on the way can you imagine that kind of embarrassment we're angry we prayed we did everything and everybody just went to sit there everywhere we just said god i mean and then while steve sat down he began to play the mistral please can you play this good old mistral that's brought us a lot of things strategies by the spirit suddenly god gave me a strategy and brown i'll never forget at once we got angry in our spirits and all of us everybody enter the car they are all witnesses enter the car and that's how we had, the driver had been trying to kick steve just started playing and he didn't stop playing and we all started praying in tongues and we told the driver he wasn't a believer so just do whatever we tell you to do now kick this car strategies he tried kicking we just kicked this car and then he kicked the car that had we did everything we could do and the car started suddenly and that's how we drove that car right to the crusade ground see let me tell you when you know how to access the wisdom of the spirit you will never be in a position where you don't know the way to come out that's why the bible says for we know that all things a believer can never be disadvantaged because at every time t there is a way to access the strategy of the spirit that can turn everything good or bad in the realm of the spirit it makes no difference god can multiply by a factor that will work out for your good hallelujah we're going to massacre for our crusade and i said lord how will a young man like me stand before the pfn in abuja and talk to them about a crusade you know how many of you who are pastors know how controversial all of these meetings can be people say you have come to establish a church in our place i've all you these small boys you know and so on and so forth but then god gave me a strategy when he gave me the strategy i went manasseh is my witness i met the pfn as a corporate body only once and these people began to run their lives to death to organize this crusade many of them old enough to be my father they went out of their ways to do things and when many of them saw me i mean the whole eni team when we came and they looked at me wearing jeans some of them were angry i said you mean is this small boy that's me it's not about me for when you find the strategy your age your size whether you can speak english or not is totally irrelevant because when it is established in the heavens nothing will stop it in this realm hallelujah it's time for us to begin to rule it's time for us to begin to reign Hallelujah. Every time you see me preach and then I sing and then I preach and then I sing, you know why? That was a strategy that was revealed to me. When I began to seek God and when he began to walk in me, God told me, "Son, this is going to be your strategy." And so the anointing came and caused me to begin to walk in that way. And it has become a pattern. Are you following me, please? Strategies. I hail you, most high. The clash of the simba. Many of you find out that I love the clash of the simba because it was a spiritual strategy that was given i found out about the davidic order of worship the patterns that david followed to access the heart of god and i saw he said praise him with the 10 stringed instrument praise him with the clash of the simba i truly hear you most high I hear you most high I said Lord grant me a supernatural ability that I will never lack words to speak in due season 
I said, Lord, what is the spiritual pattern? What dimension of the spirit is responsible for that operation? And then the Lord took me to Psalms 45. My heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. He says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. And from that day, what the Bible calls the gift of utterance came upon me. The ability to communicate spiritual things. To compare spiritual things. Spiritual. Hallelujah. I told God something. I said, Lord, grant me grace. So I don't run into trouble and live an immoral life and do all of these things said lord i'm a young man what's the way forward and as i prayed the lord gave me a revelation hallelujah he gave me a revelation from his word he said now unto him who is able to keep you from falling jude 24 has only one chapter and light came from that scripture it was a strategy Many times when I talk to ladies, I tease them and I say, if not because of that scripture, maybe I'll have children that will fool your luxurious hostel. But there is a strategy. The Bible says, how can a young man keep his way pure? He said, by meditating on the law of the Lord. Hallelujah. Accessing the deep things of God. By praying in the spirit. That every time you begin to pray in the spirit, what happens? The Holy Ghost begins to search. The Bible says, he searches the mind and begins to. That's how, do you know that that's how many, that's how many people in the world write songs? By divination. Hallelujah. They listen to Yanni or under the influence of all kinds of things. And the demonic spirit starts searching. And he searches the new trend of music that will happen in the next five years and brings it and reveals it to Michael Jackson and all of these people and then they begin to sing it and they open up the new trend that's how the Holy Spirit can search things the Holy Spirit who sees the future will search things and give you instructions now that will not make sense but as you walk you will find out that you are walking in the wisdom of the are you listening to me when the woman came and met the prophet he gave her a strategy he said what do you have in your house and the woman said nothing except a cruise of oil he said quickly go and borrow vessels borrow not a few are you following me now we must know how to access the things of the spirit never try to do things in the spirit without the word of god and the voice of God giving you the strategy you will fail no matter how it looks like it's working he said the spirit searching all things yea the deep things of God and we're going to pray right now we're going to say Lord as I begin to pray in tongues such deep things concerning my destiny many of us need deep things concerning the new levels of our lives Many of us need it concerning our finances and our businesses. Stop beating around the bush. Search for the strategies of the spirit. Rise up on your feet. We're going to be praying in tongues. As you pray in tongues, pray with the understanding that the Holy Ghost is manifesting himself tonight as the revealer of secrets. The Holy Ghost has given people names of streets where they met managers, directors that were linked to the next levels of their life. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Take it serious inside and outside. Inside and outside. But the Holy Ghost has made these things known. Such, such the spirit of God. 
the counsel of the Father concerning our lives, our finances, our businesses. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Concerning your ministry, such pay the spirit. It's an intelligence of the spirit. It's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. My sheep share my voice. Come on, pray. Travel in the spirit. Receive strategies that will change your life, that will make you a wonder. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me. I watched a, a program on it, Supernatural Seed Rock, interviewing John Hunter. And they shared the story of a woman who had been trusting God for the finances of their family. They had done everything they knew how to do. Hallelujah. And then she went to the Lord and she prayed. And the Lord caused her to sleep. When she slept, she saw an optical design. You know, something about medicine, just optics. And when she, she got up with that same revelation and she drew it. I follow me now and she took it to the hospital just casually and then she showed the consultants and when they looked at it they were all amazed and they looked at her they said where did you get this she said she found it from her dream I follow me now and then they looked at it they said they had been researching to solve the problem that that optical design brought and they said for starters they gave her right day and then 20 million dollars a check of 20 million dollars as a result of receiving a strategy from the spirit i have seen an evil upon the sun that servants are riding on horses while the princes walk afoot he said you will die like men men and fall like one of these princes hallelujah strategies some of the songs that we sing here they are strategies you just pray in tongues and you lie down and sleep and suddenly you hear the melodies of heaven hallelujah so praying in tongues is not just a symbol of pentecostalism it gives an opportunity to engage the holy ghost to begin to search mysteries about your life i challenge you this week write out the areas of your life where you trust god for wisdom for direction for breakthrough and begin to allow the holy spirit to search out for strategies are you listening to me strategies by the spirit jacob had a strategy and his 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 cattle were were even more than that of laban strategies by the spirit Joseph had went to the Lord and lifted the threat letter and cried and God gave him a strategy. He said, this is the strategy. Let the worshippers be in front. I'm giving you a strategy. Don't use another one. It will not work. The Holy Ghost searches the mind of the Father. He says, this is the strategy. Customized to bring you this unique victory. Can I tell you something? A strategy may work for you today. It will not work tomorrow. That's why you never assume on the Holy Spirit that at every time T you seek him to find out strategy. That's why Jesus told someone get up, take your mat and then to another person he spat on the ground. What was he doing? Receiving strategies. While it is yet morning he will retreat and go and travel and allow the Spirit to search. And then when they brought vessels he said fill them with water go and serve the people. What kind of thing is that? strategies by the spirit when he was delayed in his life he was praying and praying and praying and the holy ghost after praying he got up received the strategy and started walking on water walked on water and caught up with the people i am convinced hear me friends 
if you receive a strategy from the Lord, you will reign in this life. Are you ready to pray now? Say, Lord, my spirit is open for my job, for my life. Go ahead and pray. Oh, there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. Let the spirit search. We cannot know the way until you reveal it to us. Dear spirit of God, there is a way for your finances. There is a way for your life, for your destiny, for your promotion, for your increase. There is a way. Let the spirit search the deep things of God. Come on, engage the spirit, communicate the wisdom, engage the spirit, it will set you above. Make up a lot of secrets of other. Come on, pray. The Holy Ghost is searching. Pray. The Holy Ghost is searching the deep things of the kingdom. says, no, I come in the volume of the book as it is what? Written. It has been written. Your life has been drafted. You are a prophecy in fulfillment. Stop struggling. What is in the book? Let the Holy Ghost guide you. Your life should not be trial and error according to the prophetic pattern that has been written in the book. What is it for your life? Hallelujah. We are not on air today. Not because we cannot go on air. According to the strategy we receive from God, the season has not come yet. So, no matter what motivation someone brings, we'll say thank you. When you hear God, you will know how to say thank you to opportunities that open but are not of God. Not every open door is anointed, friends. Are you listening to me? When I began to search for the venue for Koinonia, I was praying by the Spirit. I love praying because I know the Lord will shock me with a new strategy. I had a list of many ministries that I wrote. And as soon as I was praying, I was just praying. And then I had in my spirit CGC. I saw written CGC. That was it. No struggle, no nothing. I said, Lord, how will this happen? And then we went to prof's house and god connected us through prof and we have this venue today what you see today is a brainchild of the strategies of the spirit 
Hallelujah. The voice of God will end sorrow in your life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Believe this. It's God's provision for you. When you find yourself in a crossroad, stop crying. If you could help, you would not be in the crossroad in the first place. And so trust the Spirit. Take on the wisdom of the Spirit. Begin to pray. Many of us just pray because we want to feel electrified. And then we fall down and then we get up. No. Every time I pray, I pray with excitement. Because I say, just give me room. Let me pray. I tell them every time in the leaders meeting. Whenever we are speaking and there is a situation, I say, no. Let's pray about it. Oh, for when I go to him in the secret, the Holy Ghost will search. He and I initializing 2011 November. What is the prophetic blueprint? And then the Holy Spirit says, son, this is what you do. And then when God tells us what to do, whether we like it or not, we are going to do it. It's not about your feelings. It's about his word. Hallelujah. When they were building Canaan land, they had fixed all the doors and everything. And they found out that there was an adjustment they needed to do in the auditorium. Hallelujah. And the, 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 the truck that they would push in would not enter because... And all the architects with their intellect and everything, they said, we have to break this door. Oedipus said, no, don't break any door. And he went and locked himself and began to pray. And when he prayed, he came out. He said, here's the strategy. Puncture the tire, push it in, pump it back. Simple. Strategies by the Spirit. Is it amazing how we suffer again and again until the strategy of the Spirit comes? That's what we do sometimes when we are ministering. You see us do foolish things. We can just say the Holy Spirit says, Shout Jesus. Strategy. That's the kind of meaning. That's why you see for every case, there is the wisdom of the Spirit that guides. And all we keep doing is worshiping until the voice comes. You can't guess and assume. You will be disappointed. We wait on Him until His voice comes. And then the Lord begins to move and says, Let the people shout Jesus three times. And then we shout Jesus and we ourselves are amazed seeing the wonders. Hallelujah. He said, I desire once again to come to you, but Satan, the wicked devil, still hindering men from getting to their place of destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like them that dream. Verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they, among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The last verse, verse 3. It says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. In fact, let's add one more verse. Verse 4. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams of the south or the Negev. Let's go back to verse 1. When the Lord, not if the Lord, when the Lord, that means that it is something that is for sure. According to the law, of times and season there is a season allocated the bible says when the lord turn again the captivity of zion when so it is for sure i don't know about you but for me it is for sure not if not if the lord when the lord turn again the captivity of zion the second thing i want us to observe from this exhortation is that captivity is real the Bible did not leave us in ignorance as to the fact that even Zion can be in captivity. Zion, the city of the Lord. Zion, the place of God. He said the captivity of Zion. There is something called the captivity. Not a captivity. An exact kind of captivity. He says when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion restored the fortune the point i'm trying to communicate is that the word turn around talks of restoration the captivities of zion he said he did it in such a way 
that we were like them that dream you have to study someone who wakes up from a dream how many of you slept hungry and in the dream you saw a buffet <laughs> you woke up with the passion of that dream only to find out that it was a dream but in that dream there was no limitation you could be in Lagos and be in Joss in one second. Realities that happen in the dream realm. Are we together? Physically, you knock, but in a dream, you can cross over to the other side. He said the nature of that restoration, it was in the similitude of them that dream. When the Lord turned again the captivity. So captivity is real. Notice he said the captivity. The captivity. There may be many kinds of setbacks, but there are a few that can hold a major, um, it, can, it can yield a major blow to men and women in their lives. Listen, not every operation of darkness affects you the same way. Is that true? There are times even physically, you can have a little sprain on your finger and it may not affect you much. But there are times you can be down with typhoid fever. That one is a kind of captivity that can keep you down. So the Bible says the captivity. The captivity. The fact that you are the Zion of the Lord does not mean it should be strange as it were. God would have said when the Lord restored their captivity, but he was honest enough to say it is the captivity, not of Israel, of Zion. Go and find out about Zion. It is the city of the great king. That even in heaven, it was not a shame that there was war there. So the issue is not the war. The issue is that there is a system for victory. The very fact that war could be conceived in heaven where God is, should almost be enough embarrassment. War in heaven? The fact that Satan could even orchestrate it. And it had could mobilize people. Where did they hold the meeting in heaven that God didn't see? Where did Satan convince a third of the angels? And there was war in heaven. And there was war in heaven. And all of a sudden, Michael, the archangel, rose up, judged Satan, and there was no space for him. But there was war. That's the most important thing second shock and jesus died the word died the bible i love the fact that the bible doesn't hide some things and the word died and israel was in egypt read your bible and see how things that were not very comfortable happened. and abraham the beloved of god Abraham for 25 years was waiting and trusting for a child yet in Genesis chapter 12 a prophetic word was upon him that in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed whoever told you that every time challenges stand before you is proof that you don't have faith it may not be true there was war in heaven where the fountain of wisdom resides there was war in heaven where the all-seeing eye of God, God does not see dimensionally. He filleth all in all. Yet there was war. The first message tonight is a message of hope. Do not be ashamed. When you realize that there is something that is in the similitude of captivity in front of you. Apostle, I love the Lord with all my heart. But why are doors closed over my family? Last time I met someone, he told me that it is a shame. As many of us would say, it's an embarrassment to redemption. But the word died. The word was killed by men. Engineered by Satan himself. The word hung on the cross and he gave up the ghost. To give up the ghost means you were tired and your body could not take it again. The word died there was war in heaven we don't know what part of heaven but there was war in heaven but the thing is not the war it's not the captivity it is when the lord 
turn even if he did it once and you got into another trouble he can turn again 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 it wasn't just once God delivered them their lives were full of his deliverance they would escape from some people before they rest another wicked nation will arise and God will turn again who told you he turns just once that he did it in much miracle service don't you know that for every level you rise there are still some kinds of giants waiting he turned the one of March let him do the one of June too when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like them that dream verse 2 then our mouth he didn't say then we laughed our mouth was filled with laughter like your mouth is filled with food our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing then said they among the hidden come on breakthrough that unbelievers must talk about breakthrough that even a herbalist would discuss and say even in our practice we have not seen this kind that God turns it around in a way and a manner that it must compel discussion you know if it is the Lord's doing it must be marvelous if it's a man's doing it's natural if it's Satan's doing it's alarming if it is the Lord's doing it must be marvelous he said then said they among the hidden the Lord so they know they know who can do that kind of thing the Lord had done great things for them the nature of that turning around is called a great thing that even the hidden know that this dimension of result it is the Lord when Julius Berger builds road for you they put a big symbol B bam they stamp it is that true so that when you are passing and you see the building when you are in doubt is it pw is it this you just see it they put it there this is our architecture when you throw a block up and it falls down and does not break you know where it came from there is when it breaks you also know where it came from so god says i will not only do a work if i do it generally they can confuse it with your intellect they can confuse it with one connection i will do it in a way that no man no man it is not the miracle it is how it is produced god can reveal something to you by january and slowly bless you and by by june or july you can have it it will be difficult to give him praises because you say ah but come to think of it ah, i read this book i applied principle abc so god says hold on let me show you how that your life can be recreated in seven days and then when he does it he says go and find which other god is able to bring that kind of salvation there were other ways israel would have gotten to canaan but god passed them through the red sea when they got to the sea they stood there and god said i want to do a work I, it has to you see the glory is not in the result the glory is the excellency of the method that god does it in a way that even you you stand in awe and say lord i know you are a great god but this one no look what you've done to my mother in one month look what you've done to my ministry look what you've done to my life there are miracles that happen in the bible men try to argue it but there were others the bible said was a notable miracle listen in this miracle service god does not just want to bless you he wants to bless you in a way he wants to anoint you in a way he wants to restore you in a way the key word there is the way he will do it hallelujah the way he would do it you lost your atm card and lost your wallet you're already praying and say lord raise me and or let somebody bring it then you go back to your home and find it on your bench now that's not restoration that's doing it in a way 
that only God would have done it. Are we together? By the time your enemy calls you with a seed and says, just to let you know that the God you serve, I want to serve him. That's not just salvation. That's salvation in a way that will make an onlooker know that this one is the finger of God. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. Verse 3, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. The Lord has done great things for us. Before we even started testifying, the unbelievers were already there. And then verse 4 says, turn. This is a prayer now. Turn again our captivity. That means a corporate people can be under captivity. Nigeria can be under captivity. A state can be under captivity. But they can cry and say, Lord, turn again our captivity. Like the streams. You know how you divert water? That when you are watering a garden, or whatever it is, irrigation farming, that water can be going this way and you can block it and make it go this way. God is saying, my life was going this way. Turn my life around in a way and a manner that people say, ah, we already predicted that by next week you should be in the pit. What are you still doing here? And I'm standing here only because And they say, we even gossiped it. We have concluded that when you are in the pit, this is what we will say. We have written the testimony. And while we were discussing, we didn't know that God can turn again the captivity of a man. Many people don't believe God. We believe our problems. We are used to it. That every time God speaks, we just hope. Faith is not hope. Listen carefully. Faith, Bible faith is not hope. It's not hoping God will do it. Faith is based on a revelation. God will convince you and tell you I am able to do it. And then activate your spirit through the revelation of his word for you to know that this thing is true. That God can turn a man's life around. I spoke, I was in Port Harcourt the day before yesterday, yesterday we came back today and I spoke on something I wish I had the time to teach you. It was on Ebenezer, the mystery of help from God. Hallelujah. He said, my help comes from above. I don't know where your own comes from, but my help, my help, not our help, I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live. And in every hill and every palace, there is a system of protection. But uh, uh, this, this situation defies the help that comes from the hill. It says, my help cometh from above. Cometh from above. Cometh from above. Sometimes when God wants to step in and help you, he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you. Because mockery gives God glory. He allows men to vent their foolishness. And he says, are you done? He says, now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in. As a man, if I like you, there are privileges you can have. When God gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case, even you, you will be shot. Are we together now? That God can turn again the captivity of men. I told you we are reading three scriptures. Scripture number two. Habakkuk chapter one, verse five. Habakkuk chapter one. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Oh, God wants to visit somebody. Habakkuk chapter one. Behold, ye among the heathen, Notice that the hidden must participate in that process for God to be glorified. He wants them to see. He says, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will walk a walk in your days 
which ye will not believe though it be told you there is something I would do that even you the recipient the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it but ordinarily I will walk a walk in your day there is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say my God God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith I've had to sit down to say God I fear you God did something in the Red Sea that made Pharaoh look and say this God he is God God did something in Babylon that made Nebuchadnezzar he wrote a decree not to the people to God On again captivity I will do a walk tonight I will change things your prayer point of years I will so answer it in a way that you will say Lord even if you answered it longer I would still be grateful but what, what is this and God says I did it suddenly lest you think I am so weak that it will have to take a long time last scripture Isaiah 41 10 solid verses we are going to read 10 to 20 Isaiah 41 God is turning things around turning things around turning things around when your clock refused to move you fix it because it was supposed to move and if your life has been brought and tied to time then like the clock the clock is a revelation of how your life must move when clock stops moving you fix it or throw it away if your life stays in one place it's a mockery to God is a mockery to you is a mockery to all who are connected to you that your life like the clock must turn 41 from verse 10 to 20 fear thou not this is a word for somebody for i am with thee yes in the midst of the pain the disappointment i am with you the threat letter i am still with you a man gave a testimony i think it was just something to encourage you but i'm not sure it's a real story but he held the hands of jesus from that story i'm told and they were walking together in a desert place and then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so I carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why God starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for i am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help i will help thee i will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11. behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what that's where i got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly it says all day that okay let's let's just read 12. no no go go just just go back to two. thou shall seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee 
they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. 13. For I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not. Why? Because I will help thee. Don't trivialize the help of God. Don't, when God tells you, I want to help you, rejoice. When God says, I want to help you, it's the same thing. Um, this guy is locked up here. He wants to come up, but this is stopping him. And I say, I want to help you, meaning I am stronger than him. Meaning I know something he doesn't know. I want to help you. He says, fear not, O warm Jacob. Jacob, you are weak, I know. Why does he call Jacob a worm? It's not an insult. It's a description of your frailty. Fear not, O warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, reading to 2015. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. Thou shalt make the hill as chaff. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. 17 when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests read it with me i the lord stop stop when the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18. i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and i will make the wilderness a pool of water I will make it I will make the wilderness a barren life I will make the wilderness a pool of water I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing a pool of water and the dry land springs of water two more verses 19 I will plant in the wilderness the cedar the shatter tree the mitel, the oil tree I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord Bagwara song. Sing it just one time. Oh Lord Bagwara, we started things around. Oh Lord Bagwara, we started things around. understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought 
what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access God says when did I start needing a runway when did I start needing ladder to come to the earth when did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me I am creator when God speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth when his voice comes echoed by the voice of the prophet the Bible says bone came out listen carefully if you don't believe what I'm teaching you are wasting your time here tonight take your eyes away from the mountains and say Lord you are going to recreate my life there are things you will have to turn tonight around for me like the streams of the Negev when you read further it says that those that 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 sow in tears will reap in joy he didn't just say those that sow money you can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev in the last few months I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this God that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and say my daughter they have laughed at you now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah I have come to uphold you I have come to wipe your tears I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone you are called of God but it's as if you are not called no anointing no results no testimony no one placing a demand on your grace but something happens to you God says I'm coming to assist you hold my hands God assists us by asking us to give him our hands do you know why because until your hand is holding him he cannot move you see let me tell you this your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move when your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way you don't qualify for his help when he wants to help you he says place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence not your hand let me be the one using my hand to clear the way let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold there is a name god is called the father of spirits understand the revelation behind that name every human being is a spirit he resides in a body 
but God is the father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirit that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he is the father of spirits, meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass. Any and every. I spoke to a man this morning before leaving. Um, very touching. The man stood, he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children. And I looked at the man, all his children. One could not pay his school fees for four years. Final year had written his last exam. But because of school fees, they are taking him back to 200 level. Because he couldn't pay. The poor girl, the daughter was there. The man was there standing. And I said, this is the signature of Satan. When Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it. And said, let me put my own. And see who, what devil will come to take it out of you. I prayed for that man with all my heart. I prayed for him passionately. In that state of poverty and penury, the children and the man, they put together a seed. I, I, I said, can I ever accept this? I, I collected the seed. I prayed with all my heart. And then I said, look, I, I place favor. May your seed become a tray. Let me put something upon it for you. It's called the favor of God. Go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around. That's the works of darkness. Some of us are seated here right now. Our loved ones are in such kind of chaos. Satan. When Satan does a thing, you don't need to ask who did it. He does it so clear that men will know it's his finger. Please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God. The works of darkness is darkness. The works of God is light. That's why we're here. To disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives. Is God speaking to us tonight? The captivity of Zion. The captivity in your family. The captivity in your life. What is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level? You see it, but to touch it, it looks like there is a resistance. There is a limitation. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray tonight? And then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked. Lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. In Palagato Sikabaragadaba, Breketeke Padaba Koseketeligada, In Pato Sikata, Eko Turn again the captivity, Mam Brekeke Banakata, Brekusakata, Kaperekete, In Prakato Sika Paragade, Zakata, Ekuta, Breketeke Padaba Katabaregenimo, In Pata Bretes Teke Badaganabosa, In Brekete Sakata. Hallelujah. I'd like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. <laughs> Mention what must live your life tonight. <laughs> Rakapata, Bekete Katosa, Inkapata Kate Kata, 
Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said, interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept. And that's what he said. He said he saw me in the dream. I came and I prophesied. It was like a koinonia service. I laid hands on him. And I mentioned the name of an organization that will call him. True story. He said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview. Now, I don't know whether or not they have given him the job. I don't know that part. But that's God at work. From a dream, prophecy. You wake up physically with the alert. You didn't apply. Ah. Listen, listen. Don't let men fool you. This God, ba, let me tell you. When God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher. Higher than our ways. His thoughts, higher than our thoughts. When, when you see, it's an act of faith to let God choose how to surprise you. Yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you. You may be asking God for a cup of tea, whereas he's coming with a hamper for you. Lord, one cup of tea and I'm grateful. And God says, no, if I give you a cup of tea, man can also give you. Let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me. Are we together? Three things I want to tell you. We'll pray one more time. Number one, God can act very fast. He looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like God is too slow, God can act mysteriously fast. I was watching a documentary. I like watching documentaries um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel. And then they were showing how these animals, all these, these sea mammals, how they eat one another. And sometimes with lightning speed, a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and I said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your God is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth God we are talking God here Number one, God can act fast. So that you don't limit God and say, Lord, I know you will act, but um, no problem. No. Number two, listen very carefully. God can surpass your wildest imagination. Now, it's difficult to understand, but you must believe it. God can surpass your wildest imagination. He can. He can. So that it's good that you bring your petitions before him. But that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you. And then number three. Satan and all the limitations that stand before you. Listen carefully. Have been defeated. Not will be defeated. Have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory It's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce 
so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life I want you to be very sensitive whether it is the prophetic word whether it's an instruction to pray whether it is the deliverance session don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that let your heart connect be angry there is an obstacle for sure you go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you you get up and say it's all right how can it be all right if it's all right who invited them to your life Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door, recycles your pain again. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah. 
do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the 
Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to my Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Shantakatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper. Every snake. Scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to 
the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing fire. Not impartation. Fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration 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 
I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here, I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again victory by the blood of the eternal covenant victory by the blood of the eternal covenant Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure, but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. He may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues. He didn't go and pay, like, give the herbalist whatever it is. That's what God is showing me now. And I'm seeing that because of that, every door in that family, everything just closed. I'm going to pray. Lord, wherever, whoever represents that family here, whether inside or outside or online, I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus, right name of Jesus. who is Rebecca Rebecca Rebecca, like Becky, Rebecca. Rebecca, I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. your name? Asmao Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? You are Rebecca, Mama? Okay. This one, too. I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then... I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her, just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. 
It's over now. In Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. You can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 The of Jesus Christ. Uh, this, woman, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is... Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you. I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not, there is something, there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. 
any force of darkness if you don't know your state of origin and you are from there you can know it now by the anointing in the name of Jesus anyone from that region that's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now I command deliverance now the strong men within those regions let God's people go now release them right now the spirits of the grave the spirits of ancestry I curse you by the God of heaven your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God from the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Jada Soto Sikatosi Alaka Hambaris Lekato Sada Pratuski Adabaladush. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you, just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. 
You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka, Shaka. Their loved ones are... Shaka. Just find out. Once they are... Don't, please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't, please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? My in -law. Your in-law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From Enugu State. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing? Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother? Yes, sir. Missing? Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. This is the only one. What only, happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, but that court that is arrested, I don't know how they set him free at times. You see. Our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Only son. One, 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 one. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that this boy is, will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the AP, he left his Wait, wait. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were yes, smoking Igbo. Police came and drugs. parked them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Um, 
Mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom, younger brother. Your mom, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, you have not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. May they be reconnected back to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people 
from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now. From any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals. Anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life, and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will I stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh God so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity discernment is a priceless spiritual gift sensitivity it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost not wishing praying in the Holy Ghost you activate your organs you have to pray for a long time in the spirit for your spirit to be heightened to be able to perceive spiritual things Otherwise, you will get into all kinds of error, wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life very bad luck I have to pray for you 
she just came quietly standing this i would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if god is not in the place in the name of jesus i'm seeing you cough i'm seeing her cough that's what i'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough i don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of jesus christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream someone came to her gave her something and she swallowed in the dream if you ever say you like this girl everything in your life goes down immediately i'm not saying she's a bad girl please don't get me wrong i'm teaching her something here she's not a bad girl but this is the operation in her life there are people do you know why we minister to people like that this is what sometimes prophets see that if they don't get discernment they go around saying someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly will be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um 
Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and Promise, overflow one outside. Pastor Femi and Kenny, overflow two. Let's do it like that. I'll, I'll pray. I'll pray for the ones here by myself. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. In the name of Jesus, everybody say amen. amen. Father, we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. And in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great Yahweh. You're the name above every other name. Great Yahweh. Yeah. 
every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. And I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. 
some of you before this month is over you will return with strange testimonies it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may it be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time Otherwise, it will cost you. I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. Let it happen to you. Even within 24 hours, let there be that. Miracle. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you. And tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is i stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names i bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting god for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting god is directly in the area of finances i agree with you and i release my faith May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work, the grace for performance, I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, 
may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman positioned around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here. And you need Jesus. Desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You are saying man of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him. Second category of people. Man of God, I love Jesus with all my heart. But I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they're coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. 
Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus. I declare that I'm a child of God. The grace to walk in victory is mine. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. Father, we give you all the glory for drawing these ones. No man can come to you except you draw them. I pray that the grace that keeps men, let that grace keep these ones. The grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert. All of you, there will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.